That's right, it's time for another fountain pen shootout. And today we'll be having a look at two pens that are quite popular, that are not exactly flagship pens, but one level below them. The Pelican M800 and the Mont Blanc 146. A lot of people interested in the shootout between the two, because you have the Pelican M1000 and the Mont Blanc 149. Those are the, you know, the top high-end pens of those two brands. And these are just one level below. A bit more affordable, a bit more normally sized, and, you know, two very nice pens. Okay, I have separate reviews of these pens on my channel, so if you want in-depth information, I suggest you check out those reviews. For now, I'll just do a very brief rundown. Um, this is the, the, the tortoise brown finish of the M800. It was a limited production pen, so it's not limited edition, but it was only produced for a certain amount of time. Uh, it's brown, uh, tortoise brown, as you can see here. It's a, a very interesting finish, I think. Uh, I like that. 18 karat gold nib, a nice nib. I've shown you that before, of those of you who haven't seen that. Uh, a nice two-tone. It has that little pelican on there. I think it's a pretty cool nib. I got that in triple broad. Um, and it's it just it performs very well. A good sized pen. Uh, I like using it. Pleasant to the touch. Very pleasant to the eye, if you ask me. And you know, just it performs very well. Then we have the um, Mont Blanc 146. A nice pen. I I enjoy using this one too. I probably enjoy using this one more than my 149. I think this is a very cool size. It has that nice classic cigar shape. Uh, it's it's very black. It's also, if you really want to see that, very shiny. You can see that you see those blue reflections right there. All those are actually the lights from my webcam. So it's it's a very shiny thing. Uh, you unscrew it. You get a nice ink window. Um, the the pelican when you hold it to the light, uh, it's actually translucent, so you can see the ink level. Here you have this ink window. You can see it right there. It's see through. Otherwise, it wouldn't be an ink window. Um, you get this nice, I think, I actually have, yes, I have a 14K nib on there, 14 karat gold. It's a very nice nib. It says 4810, height of the Mont Blanc mountain. Uh, it's another two-tone nib, gold and, I guess, rhodium. Um, a nice section. I think the section of the M800 is a little bit nicer because it has a bit of that tapering and then the flare going on there. Whereas the Mont Blanc section is, is just tapered pretty much. It doesn't really have a flare at the end. And I always like that because it sort of keeps your fingers in place. Okay. Both pens can be posted. Both pens are piston fillers. I can show you that easy with this 146. If you have a look at the, um, uh, the ink window, uh, then you may see that it's blocked off right now. And now it opens up again. That's the piston moving up and down. For those of you not really familiar with that. You draw up ink into the barrel, so those of you who are familiar with it, that's not new. Uh, it holds a decent bit of ink, and uh, this is a broad nib, so not as extremely broad as the Pelican. Um, great nib with, I, I like using it, a lot of fun. Uh, so very nice pen, two very nice pens. Next thing I'll do is I'll, I'll show you how to take them apart as far as possible, and um, that's all there's to it. So, I hope that's going to be useful. After taking them apart, I'll do a writing sample. I'll see you later. Bye bye. All right, so here we go. Pelican M800 Mont Blanc 146. I've already shown you how to take this one apart in uh, the previous shootout, but for those of you who haven't seen it, grab the nib and feed in the nook of your finger. So in that sort of that bit, grab your, your put your thumb on the feed and then just unscrew the barrel. You don't have to use a tissue. I use the tissue because I, I had some grease in my fingers earlier. Okay, then to get the piston out, what you need is the Twisby wrench. You can put that in in only one way. You see it clicks in place, and you turn to the right. It's like an IKEA cupboard you're putting together, and you pull out the whole piston unit. I'll put it back in. If you want more detailed instructions on how to get that back in, um, please consult my, my previous shootout. That's between the M1000 and the M800. 
I go into more detail there, but I don't want to bore you to death, and I definitely don't want to be redundant, so I'm not going through all those steps again here. As you can see, it's fine now. You see? No gap there, just fine. Okay. M, no, not M, the Mont Blanc 146. You can open up the piston unit if you want. You will either need to buy a special wrench for that. There are two holes, very difficult to show you, but there's a hole there. If you turn it around, there's another hole right there. I've heard of someone, someone told me he or she uses a, a crab fork, bent, and, and sort of put that in there. Some people use paper clips. So far, I've been pretty unsuccessful using that approach. But it should be fairly simple. You put it in there, and then you unscrew that, and then you can, you can do this. I have a video on how to open up a Mont Blanc 149. Um, check that out if you're interested. I, 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 I talk about the wrench there. You can get a similar wrench for this pen. Okay. Now, for this pen, I didn't buy it because, quite simply, the nib and feet just go out like that. They're friction fit, at least on mine. Um, there is a nib collar in there, which you can get out. Uh, that's a bit more difficult. I cannot do this with a 149. I can only do this with my 146. The nib sort of slides in place onto the feed, so you know just how to align it. Um, you put it back in there, gently and carefully, and uh, well, that's all there's to it. That's what you can do with this pen by hand, and otherwise you need to get some tools. So I'll ink these two up. I'll be using uh, Parker Quink today. First I wanted to use Mont Blanc Royal Blue, and then I thought, no, then people are going to say that Mont Blanc has an advantage because it's a Mont Blanc ink and a Mont Blanc pen. I don't really think that matters a whole lot, but some people do. Then I thought, well, maybe Pelican Kearney's Blau, but then I thought, no, that's not possible either because then Pelican will be have an advantage, you know, be in the lead. So let's just take something completely neutral, and that is Parker Quink, uh, that is affiliated with neither brand, so I think we should be cool here. Okay. Two pens inked up. Um, I'll do a writing sample. Okay, two pens that I really like the M800 in triple broad. The ink is Parker Quink, if that wasn't clear. And the Mont Blanc 146 in broad. You should definitely see a difference in. Uh, the broadness of the nib. Now when I compared that triple broad to my M1000's double broad, it didn't seem extremely broad. But if you compare it to a regular broad from Mont Blanc, not exactly the skinniest nib out there, you see the difference. The MB, this, and the Mont Blanc 146, seems to be a little bit more prone to skipping. Uh, this one doesn't skip, at least not right now. Um, I would like to check out the uh, line variation off it. This is a broad nib to begin with, but with some pressure it opens up a bit and you get some pretty nice line variation. Just a random word, of course. And that's some pretty nice line variation too. So the final thing I'd like to see is wetness. I kept the pen, put it away, and it's pretty much dry. This is pretty fast drawing Rhodia paper in this notebook. Funny. Oh no, wait, that's an M1000. We were talking about an M800. Too many pens on my desk.
kept it, put it away. Pretty much dry too. Both pens are fairly wet. Um, you may see there seems to be a little bit more feathering here with the 146, a little more than with the one uh, with the M800. Uh, but in general, I think both pens are very, very nice. Okay, so there you have it. Two two pens that I love dearly. Um, I hope you you found the review and comparison useful. Um, so that's it, and uh, I'll see you later. Bye bye.